And here we go, guys. We got Moto Madness once again. We're doing this live on our live stream. I think this is April 9th, but it is the 30th today. Anyways, Buzz on Bikes, Yamaha FZ1. Here we go. We're going to make a right-handed turn. Do not low side. Oh, oil. Looks like we're kind of falling down anyways, but uh, that's fine. He's got full gear. Very good. Smart rider, smart rider, smart rider. He's acquiring and using personal protective equipment. Maybe the shoes aren't, but those could be motorcycle shoes. So this is one of those things that you got to watch out for. Is, um, you got to watch out for the oil. You got to watch out for gravel. But as you can tell, it's all the way across the road, and you couldn't see it until last second. It's not like you're going to be able to swerve and be like, okay, I'm going this way. Nope, I'm going to go this way. That's, that's not going to happen. So as a smart rider, okay, we're seeking and maintaining as best as we can, but if something does happen, thankfully we have gear. Okay, we're acquiring and, and uh, what did it say? It's a quick, it's a quiz for you. Acquire and use the personal protective equipment. I was reading the, uh, did Moto Madness change their logo a while ago? I got distracted. Oh, if you notice, he like grabbed his leg. So that's a big thing right there. So he did hit his knee pretty hard. He's checking if it's still there. That's why he has gear. You saw the armor inside there? Impact absorption. Very good. Very good. Imagine snapping your patella or... Uh-oh. Cop did not like going 90 miles per hour. This is the thumbnail. So we have to we have to make it... You know, we have to create a thumbnail for the video itself. So once it pops up. So 90 miles an hour uh, is California. Okay, we got to do the thumbnail. There you go. A little screen grab. Yeah, 90 miles an hour is no bueno. Let's go ahead and watch it one more time. Got caught up by the cops. He's saying no, no. Remember we watched the other cop give him uh, the other guy really good advice, and he just takes off. Got very lucky. Got very lucky. You could be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, slow it down. Slow it down. Cop is lane filtering thing all right hey it's a great parking lot i love it a little bit of snow might be cold out practicing his wheelies very good you want to do this in a parking lot like this okay now yeah don't do it now there you go back when there's less hazards like cars coming out check your coccyx your tailbone so if you're going to be doing uh wheelies or anything like like i uh said if you donate to the distinguished gentleman's ride links in the description you get 50 percent off the drills that we have here, the 20 plus drills, the smart rider drills. But yeah, if you're gonna do the drills, you can do stunting, you're gonna do pretty much anything uh, brand new on a motorcycle, doing your friction zone, U-turns, figure eights, whatever, whatever, whatever. Do it in a parking lot like this, where it's nice and open, not a lot of curves, the car's are way over there. And the reason why we do that is because it's nice and flat, there's no road surface hazards, because you can actually ride it a little bit and check and see if there's any gravel and just don't do it in the area that there's gravel. You also have uh, these parking spaces. In the United States, they're about nine feet apart, so, I mean, if you do two of them and you do a U-turn within two of them, it's basically a 20-foot U-turn, you know, maybe a little bit less, you know, 18 feet. But uh, you already have lines. You have everything. And, uh, yeah, you can also get the cones with this. You can get the cone version of it. Um, but, yeah, so practice in a parking lot, lot uh, less hazards, less people running around. You have greater control of the area, and you get to practice your slow speed stuff, your change of direction, figure eight, or not figure eights, but change of direction, your head and eye movement, friction zone, uh, counterbalancing. And this all helps you when you start adding speed because that's what you start doing when you're out on the road. So here in the parking lot, it's very slow speed, but the principles are the same. Head and eye movement, like I said, throttle control, friction movement, uh, friction control, and uh, handlebar movement start adding speed on the road, but the other stuff stays. So it's very important to practice the principles here as a smart rider, you know, or maintaining our fundamental skills here. I don't mind you doing the wheelies. Just wear full gear too, because you're going to hurt yourself. Here we go. Beware the ice. Moto sheep. Okay, there's a cone in the middle of the road for some reason. Ooh, you see the black ice randomly? Not much you could do with that. Not much you could do with that. I mean, the cone might have helped. Kind of a weird thing. Man, that sucks. Imagine, like, going this way, though, and trying to make this turn, and you just slide and hit the wall. But, yeah, that's what black ice looks like. So you see a little reflection. It looks like oil, almost. Not much you can do in that. Ugh. You're just going to dump the bike. And this is, like I said, why we acquire and use personal protective equipment. 
Okay, just in case you can't control this, you showed up on it, hopefully you have full gear. Because now your knee, your elbow, your shoulder just hit the ground. And so you have that impact protection on the shoulder, knees, and elbows. Makes me want to say, never mind, you know, like shoulders, head, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Anyways, uh, Kane in Moscow, FC8. Okay, we're going to turn off. Watch out for anybody coming up behind us. We're going to go ahead and turn. There's Is that road surface hazard? A little bit. Not too bad. Good job with the slow speed. That's exactly why I use the quad lock, having it right here so I can see the GPS. Okay, we got a red light. Orange stage. Oh, somebody coming out of nowhere, Michael Lawton. Is that you, Michael? Came out of nowhere. Watch out for sides of the pedestrians. All right, lane filtering here in Moscow once again. Same person. Good job, lane filtering. Whoa, lost some... This is why you practice your slow speed maneuvers, okay? If you can't do a slow straight line, don't lane filter. Watch out for this guy. Why did he do that? Why did he do that? Look at our look at the pattern that we got. Look at the pattern. That was you, huh, Michael? Look at the pattern. You see the cars up ahead, everybody? You see all these cars? Look at all these cars. They're blocking everything. You don't think this motorcycle rider sees an open spot? Exactly, uh, Zeno. So cars do this too. And I, I say it all the time. You know, I say this all the time. It's not the car. And it's like cars do it. It's the motorcycle did it. No, it's it's the rider, it's the driver, it's the person. Uh, the people, you too, I, I do it all the time instinctually, but I do check. You go for the spot where you have a no, nice opening. You go for it. And so that's what this person's doing. And us as the rider going 132 kilometers per hour um, should be recognizing, what's this over here? What's that? Anyways, should recognize that this is an open pattern. Okay, we can't control what they're doing. We, we anticipate that they're going to do this. We can control what we're doing. And you notice how he like he reached for the uh, the front brake or at least rolled off the throttle. So you see the weight transfer a little bit. So he's doing some decent progressive braking or engine braking at this point. So you have to let this guy through because he's not going to stop. You can run into him, and then you can be like, hey, buddy, you ran we ran into each other because you did an idiot thing. But now you're on the ground, damaged bike, probably hurt, You know, life-altering injury. You probably have a broken femur now. You're walking with a limp for the rest of your life, but at the end of the day, you can be like, you know what? I won that argument. I was right. It doesn't matter. But yeah, look for those patterns. Watch out. Lane filtering. Okay, 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 okay. Suzuki intruder. All right, all right. If you can't make... Oh, there. Brake, 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 brake. Very good. Good progressive braking. If you can't make it and somebody does that, you got to do something. All right, we're out on the track. This is exactly where you want to practice your uh, fast speed maneuvers. Whoa! Hey, if you're going to crash, do it on the grass with full leathers and a nice runoff. Still heavy impact, still going to knock the wind out of you. You're going to shake up your brain a little bit. You could have a concussion still. But we talk about parking lots all the time for slow speed maneuvers. If you want to practice your high speed maneuvers, okay, so we're talking slow speed maneuvers for like commuters and kind of like hanging out and just doing hobbyist type stuff. But if you want to get better at fast speed maneuvers, go to a track. Yamaha Champion Riding School, they, they, they do great stuff. I had a lot of fun over there um, watching my buddy uh, do a one-on-one, -on -one, and uh, I got the ride on the back. It was just it was insane. Uh, anyways, you want to practice your high-speed maneuvers here. So he, was do, he was slowing down, probably trying to do some trail braking. He just kind of got, got messed up. Just got messed up. Exactly, Harry. The other guy. Four lanes in one maneuver. Yeah. Separate the maneuvers. Separate the maneuvers. And check every time. All right. Oregon original. Here we go. The crest of the hill. Crest of the hill. And then a sharp left. You see how that's almost hard to see if you're out in the mountains? On the track, they have uh, indicators for that stuff. You guys see the Yammy Noob went like 200 plus miles per hour on his, uh, on his H2. That was a low side low side everyone's fine check for oil on the track make sure they have like a flag or something hey having some fun in italy what kind of bike is this i kind of like it it's like a little mini bike oh having a little fun full leathers on the track late at night not late at night it's like dusk Having some fun. Yeah, little little bikes. BX 
Denzel 11 21 in the mountains. Ooh, high side. We haven't seen high side in a while. He's got full leathers. Oh, the bike hit the car. Now he's going to deal with that. All right, so this is what a high side looks like. So we're going to start off with the low side. If you guys don't know what a high side is, let's see if I even have that, uh, have it on here. All right, so this is what a low side. Nope. Nope, I do not have it. Uh, so high side is basically when you start doing that little low side here. Okay, you're starting to like slide down. You go a little bit too far in the lean. We see it all the time. This is a common one where you just fall down. And you'll see it right here. So this is like if he just kept going, he would have low sided. What's happening is that he's starting to low side, but his tires grab traction. And it, since it's already doing this, it's going to flip him over. It's very high volatile mechanism of injury. He's going to be launched. All the physics and all the inertia is going to be transferred to him. It's like a slingshot at this point. And what's going to happen is that he's going to hit the ground harder than he would if he just slid down and hit the ground. He's still going to hit hard sliding on a low side, but then you're going to get a lot of abrasions. At least, not at least, uh, with a high side, you're going to land and hit hard and then still get abrasions and start tumbling. As you can see right here. So there's the hard hit on that right shoulder and the tumbling. And there goes the bike and hit the car. Yoink. Make sure you guys get... Make sure you guys get insurance. Insurance. All right, living life. Living life. Is it is it possible to save it in in uh, this one like a high side? No, no. You're you're at the mercy of physics at that point. All right, here we go. Living life. Full gear. I, I like seeing all this full gear stuff. Don't race mustangs. They will crash into people for some reason. They'll just find people to crash. Whoa, open lane impacted. Open lane, always be careful, always ready for that. Always, I was paying attention to the Mustang on this part. So we see that open lane pattern. Okay, see all the vehicles stacked up on the left going to orange stage here. Cause you don't know if somebody's gonna check now. Why could they not see us? Let's say they looked for us. What's a, what's a hint right here? What's a hint that they couldn't see us? Yeah, we're bright orange. We're, we're, we're doing fine. The light is at his back. You have a Mustang, Christian? Yeah, Robbie, the light's at his back. So the light is in, yeah, long shadow. It's a great, yeah, sun's in the mirror. Perfect, Dylan. You guys, you know, I don't have to say anything. You guys are doing a great job. Love it. Remember, guys, we're doing a live stream if you're watching this, uh, I think, April 9th. Anyways, uh, yeah, light is, is shining in the mirror. They can't see us. We're such a small little, you know, form factor. We're like a very small silhouette in the, in the, uh, in the sun. And this person decided to switch quickly. Now, what do we do here? What can we do? We need to find an escape path. Okay, we're not going to be able to stop in time. How's our total stopping distance here? Right, Harry? Yeah, sun, and sun behind us. Total stopping distance isn't good enough. We have to swerve. We have to get ourselves out of here, and we have to do it quickly. We have to do it quickly. And I've seen some people, heard, heard some people. I say see because I read the comments and it's not really hearing it. But, you know, Monday morning uh, quarterbacking it. I've seen people do some swerves, like, immediately. Have you? We've seen that here on this, on this channel. You could do it. You just have to be prepped and ready for it. But if something happens, you can't do it in time. Acquire and use personal protective equipment. Yeah, that car did it quick. Everything just lined up for him to have a crash. It sucked. Elude. Sun in our eyes. So look, this is what it looks like. Let's go back. So that right there is what it looks like in that person's mirror. That's what it looks like in that person's mirror. So they can't see. You're like in the middle of that. And you're like invisible. So just be aware of that. Nice little turn, doing head checks. It's a yield for him, so he's got a yield. Fine. Left turner right here, left turn. Honking the horn didn't do anything. Realized honking the horn wasn't going to do anything last second. Tried to do progressive braking. Breathe it out. Very good. His musculoskeletal system still works. Do a quick assessment of your body before your bike. Who cares about your bike? Hey, Cordo, stop. Couldn't see you. Did you not see me coming? No, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have turned if it, okay, old man, you don't have to be a smart ass. Um, no, inattentional blindness. Your, your mind does not see things it doesn't want to see. Your mind does see things that it wants to see. I used the example of you were going to go out and buy a Ford F-150 or something. You've been thinking about it for a while. You go to the dealership, do a test ride. You say, no, let me think about it. And the guy keeps hounding you, but you're like, you walk out anyways because you found a better deal somewhere else. But then when you're driving around or riding around, all of a sudden you see Ford F-150s everywhere. 
Okay, that's like attentional. Like you're 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 paying attention. You, you it's in the forefront of your mind. And as motorcycle riders, we see other motorcyclists because we're motorcycle riders. We see other car drivers because we're we have to have that specialized training. Car drivers, guess what? If they've never ridden a motorcycle or don't even think about motorcycles, all they see are cars. They're not going to see motorcycle riders. So inattentional blindness. Okay, that's a real thing. Okay, it's it's not their fault. It's their brain's fault. Brain is kind of dumb sometimes. It only uses so much information. But right here, yes, yeah, son. He's probably looking over where he's parking into, where he's going to go into. At this point, he doesn't see us, but we see them. And the reason why we see them is because we are paying attention, right? We're in yellow stage. We see a left turn and we go into orange stage. We're going to be prepped and ready. Once this guy starts to come out in front of us, we have to go into red stage. We have to do something. We have to do something. So we can, you know, we can think about total stopping distance here. So we're going to try to stop. So the total stopping distance is right here to here, okay? So we have perception. He has to see it. He has to react to it, reach for that front brake, and then braking distance. So, you know, here's perception time. Here's the reaction time. And then from here is the braking. Okay? So the goal with all of this is to remove that reaction time. Okay? So we still have to perceive it, right? So what we're doing is now we're prepping for reaction right here by covering those brakes. That's why we go into orange stage. We see something, in, you know, left turner possibly. We cover the brakes. We, we reduce the total reaction time. All we have to do is perceive and slightly react. That's what we're trying to do here. So remove it. Then now we can start our braking here versus starting our braking. Because, you know, right here is uh, total stopping, perception, reaction, braking distance. Okay. If you don't know what I'm talking about because you just somehow joined in on the live stream right now because we're talking about total stopping distance here. So progressive braking, very important, but we also don't want to waste any movements because we're trying to reach for that front brake. We're trying to do something. We're trying to also look for escape paths because as a planning a ride, positioning for safety, locating this, assessing it, and now we're navigating it. For position, we're looking for escape paths all the time. So we have to shoot for that escape path. I know there's a lot of information, guys. There's a lot of information getting thrown at you, but I see a lot of you in the chat. You guys have taken the MTC BRC, the MTC Rider Academy course that we have. $4.99 the first month. You can probably complete it. It's a three-hour course. You can complete it. You can cancel it if you want, but stay for, uh, for everything else because we got some cool stuff coming up. So there's the horn. So at this point, we're not going to be able to stop in time. We got to do something. We got to do something different. Now, why did, I, why did I not do this, everybody? Why did I not do this right in the chat? Why did I not do that? Going to the right. Why did I not go to the right? And I'm going to the left. I'm going to leave that for you guys. Zeno, Dylan, Wasai, Kevin, Retro, you guys are all right. All of them. Hey, Cordos. Damn, damn, damn. Do you not see Old man has to be a smart ass. I wouldn't have turned if I did. Are you okay? I wouldn't have turned yeah, if I saw you. I'm fine. I'm, fine. I'm sorry. Uh, can somebody help me lift this up? Thankfully, Elude's doing fine. Put the kickstand down. I'm all right. Use your legs. Don't use your upper body. I have the upper body strength to lift like three of these, but yeah, oh, use your legs. Man. You want some of the pizza, Bam Bam Bam? Yeah, I'm fine. Have some pizza, man. Bam 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 Bam. Hey guys, make sure you hit that like button. Okay, we're at 115 likes on the live stream. 150 of you are watching this right More now. To my bike than there is to me. Very good. Thank you to all the people that stopped and make sure I was I was good. If you liked the video, drop a like. If you didn't like it, then dislike it. No, just if you should put if you didn't like it, you should still like it and then leave. Yeah. Still like it. Thank you, Elude, for the uh, for posting this for Moto Madness so we can do an after action of it. Thomas, can't say your last name, but here we go. We got a weirdo right here turning left. Good job with the progressive braking. Okay, we saw that. We saw that coming up. You see how the the tires are turned, the car is kind of turning a little bit. That uncommon thing in a common situation, that car is supposed to go straight. So, mm, nope, my gut says no. Don't like it. I'm covering those brakes. I've already been planning my ride. I've already been positioning for safety. I located this this little dumb dumb. Uh, so, Arguin Arena. Okay. Thank you, Wasala Buga Buga. Whatever he said. All right, here we go. RCBR 125. Hey, oh, what is that? I was about to say it. 
What is this right here? It's a bus stop. No, what is this person doing? Move into that open lane. Apply some brakes, move over, very good. What is your mind if you ignore the possibility of injury and repair costs just because you're in the right? I miss that. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I have to read all the rest of your, your comments. You didn't see me, did you? I have his bag in the back. Right, yeah, okay. You're right. From, right. from Tucson, Arizona. Yeah, air comp his hands were on the brakes, anticipated. All right, compact fist, here we go. Isn't that what a fist is? Anyway, side of the vehicle, side of the vehicle, side of the vehicle, orange stage. There you go, watch out, this person looks like they're switching over. Good, good job. Look forward, look forward, look forward. You don't know what else is there. You don't know what else is there. All right, let's go back over here. Let's go back over here. So we saw that, right? So when we're riding, you can see it way up there, way up there. Look at that. Look at that little guy. Look at that little guy. Side of the vehicle, we see it way ahead of time. We're going to go into orange stage. We don't know if he's cutting all the way across. You see an opening in the median right there. You don't know. You have no idea. And so what are we doing when it comes to orange stage? Okay, we're just covering the brakes. We're just making sure our skate path is still good because we're planning a ride. Okay, we just located a hazard. We assessed if this is a relevant threat, and we're just going to reposition. You notice how it's yellow, orange, orange, red? Because we're talking about the MTC awareness stage. Get out of here, plan. Come on, there you go. We're talking about this right here. So we're just going in a normal ride, zoning in, zoning in, and we're going to go ahead and go into orange stage, and if we have to, go into red stage. So right now he's covering the brakes, doing good. Okay, we're doing good. Seize it, seize it, seize it, seize it, seize it. That person's nose is not in that, that first available lane, like all the way pointing in the right direction, right? Looks like he's still coming in our lane. Oh, there's that tire. As soon as that tire went over that line, you could see it right there. As soon as that tire went over the line. I, I love this. I love it. I love seeing people do a good job. As soon as that tire went over that line, he decides to switch over. That's all we have to do. We didn't stay in our lane and honk and fight and punch a mirror and break our hand and then blame them and post it on Moto Madness. No, 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 no. Moto Madness, he posted a good one. So we're coming over here. We just switched over. Great job. You notice how it, it looks like it's nothing? Like it's, it's nothing. It's not, it's maybe a close call. It's nothing when it's done right. But when we see all these other people, I'm sure we're going to see another video uh, later. But uh, maybe even, yeah, we're going to see it done wrong. It's a great job. Great job, Compact Fist. Interesting name. He's got a quad lock. There's that side of the vehicle. Same thing. Switching over makes it look easy. Even slowed down time how good he was doing. There's a little bit of a finger. You do you. I'm not going to blame you for that. You do whatever you want. Ooh, that's why you don't do it. That's why you don't do it. That's why you don't do it. Walk on. Walk on. Walk on. Get the fuck out of it. She is so embarrassed. She is so embarrassed. Look at the look. She's like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I, I can't stand his haircut and now he's doing this. Ugh. Why can't I just leave? Uh, yeah. Get the fuck out, bro. Why are you putting it in front, bro, when I'm going 50? Are you f***ing idiot? You She's just like, I am so done with this. I am so done with this. All right, so uh, tomorrow, because today's uh, Thursday the 30th, uh, the 31st on Motorcycle Training Concepts YouTube channel, Nathan, our other instructor, is talking about road rage. He's talking about road rage and why we shouldn't be participating in all that stuff. So make sure you guys join uh, or sign some sign. Subscribe to the uh, Motorcycle Training Concepts YouTube channel. But yeah, she is so embarrassed. <laughs> what a child, man. What a child. And they hate it when you laugh at them. <laughs> oh, I almost got it. What is this, Moto Madness? Editing error. Let him get in front. Oh no. So this is where his uh nice uh idiot. Nice little wagon. DJ17 DPN. This is 
dumb. We're just gonna let it play. Are we following him? Turn left. Get out of there, dude. Do not get in front. There you go. There you go. Now the guy, if he follows you, he's gonna hit the pole or hit hit another car. Hopefully that's not his uh his house. He's like, Johnny, just go home. Oh. Just go home. What if you go bad? He's like, no, I gotta win this argument. You don't think you're bad because you got a girl next to you. I gotta win this. I gotta, I gotta defend your honor. You're gonna get your like, stop, bro. You're gonna get. No, just drop me off. That's what you said. All right, we're done. That's uh, funny. We're done. Average BMW rider. Anyways, uh, Eduardo Garza. Here we go. Oh, what happened? Looks like his chain snapped or something. Oh, he hit the curb, I think. Look how far his bike went. Like each one of these lines is like 20 feet and in between it's like 30 feet. Look how far it went. What do you think happened? What do you think happened? So we're already going fast. Oh, front brake. Front brake. You see his hand? Oh. Yeah, exactly. Michael, you saw it first. Look at the front brake. Look at his front brake. I think he panicked. I think he panicked because of the uh, the trailer. So he's grabbing it, and then he just sw squeezes hard. He doesn't have an escape. So guys, when you're riding super fast, when you're going really fast, you're not riding in yellow stage all the time. You know, you're not just zoned in, relaxed. I mean, you're zoned in probably, but you're not relaxed, okay? So when you're riding super fast all the time, you're in orange stage. Everything is a threat because everything's coming at you quick. So you're constantly in orange stage. You're, pr you're paranoid the whole time, or at least you have to be because you have to start scanning things. You have to, you know, uh, uh, utilize your adrenaline and that survival response when you're going this fast because you're not going to be able to see things quick enough. You're not. And so when it comes down to, like, even the smallest things, you have to jump into red stage. So when you're riding fast, you're constantly in orange stage. That's exhausting. It's exhausting. Think of yourself constantly nervous. Like, just constantly nervous. It's, it's a drain on your nervous system, which activates your muscle fibers. So when we see this and we just panic because we don't know what we're doing, this is what happens. Your, your escape paths are going to disappear quick. They're going to show up quick. Disappear quick, show up quick when you're speeding. They're going to be there when you're just going the normal speed. <laughs> Terrible situation. Terrible situation. But guys, make sure you guys sign up for the MTC Rider Academy. We are raising money for the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride. We do have the shop. We have the drill booklets. If you donate to the DGR, you get this 50% off. Lots of things in the description. Check it out. All of our sponsors. But uh, yeah, we're going to continue recording live. I'll see you guys, uh, see you guys later.